Hello, fellows. This is Edward G. Robinson again. And confidentially, that G stands for a little gossip I'd like to dish out to you fighting Americans around the world. Fighting Americans. That means all of you, of course. The men who sail the ships and fly the planes and ride the tanks and trudge the roads. Yes, and the men who are fighting this war on their knees. Sounds a little surprising, doesn't it? Americans don't like to crawl. Not unless there's a job to be done. And the job I mean is plenty tough. It's a job that takes a man right out in front, almost always under heavy fire. A job that takes him forward slowly, inch by inch and foot by foot, probing, prodding, poking the ground until he finds an enemy mine, until he digs it up and detaches the fuse and opens the lane for the tanks and the men to come piling through. A job that calls for nerves of steel and hands as gentle as a woman's. One step too far, one careless move, and it's the glory ride on a dozen pounds of TNT. No room for error or mistake. No second chances in this league. A man bats a thousand or nothing at all. Fighting men? I'll say they are. The men on their knees. The engineers. The men in the landmine sapping crews. That's the last page of our mail call letter for tonight. Signatures included Edward G. Robinson, Ann Miller, Dick Powell, Lucille and Jimmy Gleason, Marion Hutton and the Modern Airs, and yours truly, Don Wilson. This program is arranged with the cooperation of the Hollywood Victory Committee. Another mail call will be coming your way the next time you hear... <laughs> mail call is produced for you servicemen of the United Nations by the Special Service Division of the War Department of the United States of America. Thank <laughs> you.